Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a, another Meet All My Pets video for 2021. So I really hope you guys enjoy today's video and let's go ahead and get started. So the very first pet I have to show you guys is my sister's guinea pig. So this is Delilah. She just had a birthday, so she is seven years old now. Delilah has come a long way since we first got her back in 2017. We rescued her from a daycare that my sister worked at. So guinea pigs under any circumstance should definitely not be a daycare, especially because of younger children. But she has become a huge part of our family. So this is Dasher. Dasher is, again, my sister's guinea pig. She got her in 2017 for a Christmas present. And as you can tell by her name, PetSmart named all of the baby guinea pigs after the reindeer. Dasher is six years old and she is coming on seven. She is also a super sweet piggy and she loves to do circle for a pee flake. She has the cutest personality and loves to talk, as well as she is a very curious piggy. Right now she's being very snuggly. But yeah, this is Dasher. So next up is Reese's. My sister got her in 2016. So Reese's is five years old and going to be six in February. She is a very shy guinea pig, but she is slowly reaching out of her shell to do circle and to get a pea flake. Reese's is a huge snuggler and will sit with you for hours at a time. She is also a sweet piggy, so pretty much all of our piggies right now are super duper sweet. But yeah, this is Reese's. So next up we have Pebbles. Pebbles is going to be five in December, so very soon. She loves pea flakes and when she wants food, you'll know it. My sister also realized that Pebbles is like her second alarm clock because when her alarm goes off, Pebbles knows it and she'll start weaking, which I think is absolutely adorable. So this is how you know that guinea pigs are very smart. Pebbles is also very sweet, but she does poop a lot when you hold her. So what I like to do is to give her five minute hugs and she absolutely enjoys every second of it. So moving on to my guinea pigs, first up we have Miss Ginger. So we got both Ginger and Pebbles on the same day, which is December 3rd. Ginger is also going to be five years old, which is absolutely insane that I had her for this long already. Ginger also loves to play with her friend Willow. Ginger has been through a few friend losses over the years, but she has pulled it together. What I mean by this is when a guinea pig passes and if you have a group of three like I did, that guinea pig might become really close to the piggy that passed and the piggy that didn't pass, they might get sick. This is exactly what happened to my guinea pig squeakers when she passed, I had a guinea pig called Patches as well as Cuddles, but Patches was completely fine. But after a few days or so later, she passed and that was pretty much how it ended up with Ginger. And Ginger also came along with my other past guinea pig, Oreo. She was literally the best guinea pig you could ever meet. Without more babbling, let's just get on with my other guinea pig. So right here is Angel. Angel is three years old and she's going to be four in December. I got Angel because my previous guinea pig, Luna, passed from a few illnesses and it was just too late when we went to the vet with her and diagnosed her. Angel, again, is from Pekka, but when we first got her, she started sneezing, so we brought her back to Pekka because we wanted to make sure that she was okay. Pekka vet had her stay for a bit, which seems like forever, but finally she came home, and the bonding between Ginger, Oreo, and her was pretty smooth. Then in 2019, something very unexpected happened. She started to drag her legs, which I was really shocked about, and I went to my mom immediately. We scheduled an appointment to the vet, and we have no idea why this happened to her, but later I was thinking it was vitamin C deficiency because they can become very weak and paralyzed if they don't have enough of it. 
to this day she is not dragging her legs fully but she is walking on them but she is very wobbly angel is such a sweetheart and my mom said that she really is the sweetest thing so yeah this is pretty much my little angel bear so next up is my little willow bean i got willow in june of 2020 as a surprise willow is such a beautiful guinea pig but when you meet her she does not like to be picked up or pet in the cage but once she's in my arms she'll purr which is a happy purr which means she's happy. Willow is my biggest and heaviest piggy. She absolutely loves her friend Ginger. Her and Ginger have a huge bond and they would take turns licking each other's eyes and it's so adorable. What if I put you to my chest? There it is. That's the happy Willow. Can you turn your face? There you go. So this is the last of the piggies and our only male guinea pig. So this is Wrangler. Wrangler was pretty much a rescued guinea pig from a horrible situation at PetSmart. And I actually really wish I got it on camera, but I just was so shocked I didn't even have time or to think about taking out my phone because it was abuse. But if we haven't rescued him, he wouldn't have actually made it because Wrangler developed pneumonia and also ringworm but both of those are completely gone wrangler is such a sweet boy and he successfully bonded with angel and i'm super happy about that it went well and again he is the only boy in the piggy family so he is very spoiled i definitely wouldn't have think of having a male guinea pig in the family would be such a great addition because he really does make everything better and now we're moving on to the geckos so individually of course <laughs> this is sandstorm she is around eight years old and her morph is a tangerine or this is as close as i can get to her morph so next up we have saturn saturn is around six or seven years old and she is also a tangerine but she actually seems a bit darker so i'm kind of unsure so next up is speckles she is my favorite um but speckles is around six or seven years old and her morph is a jungle leopard gecko say hi and lastly, we have Ziggy. The geckos that you just saw were all my older brothers, and this is my younger brothers. So Ziggy is around five years old, and she is a Murphy's Patternless Leopard Gecko. So next up, we have my fish. So on this side, we have Simba. Simba is around two and a half years old. And he is a rose gold, I can never say that, rose gold benefish, because that's a tongue twister for me. I got him from Peko, unfortunately, and he is one of the oldest bettas that I have ever gotten from Peko or PetSmart, which is absolutely insane. Then right here, we have Jasper. Jasper is around a year old and he is a koi betta. When he was younger, his colors were the same. So you actually going to tell that this is the exact same betta that I had like five months ago. So at first, Jasper was super shy, but more open as he started to get older and changing color. As you can see, he doesn't literally mind me at all, which is awesome. So this is our kitchen fish, I guess you can call it. So these are both my sister's fish. I honestly forget their names because they're not mine and their names don't come around often. So I unfortunately don't know their names, but again, they are both my sister's fish. So next we have my parents' fish. Their names are Felix and Oscar, and I honestly cannot tell them apart, and apparently my parents can, and they're literally going to fight. Not literally, they get along. Felix and Oscar are a little over a year old, and they are absolutely huge. Because they are Oscar fish, I believe they are both 
around 11 to 12 inches. So a size comparison to my hand, they are pretty big fish. So last but not least, we have Wiggles. Wiggles is my sister's goldfish and his estimate age is a little more than a year. And I just love his eyes. So that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed or learned something new.